all right all right look at there i'm live um i didn't realize it when i set this up it was going to tell everybody right then so we he got busy um i'm out here with alex frankenstein's and i want you to look at this look at there frankenstein's got look at the snow on the ground snow everywhere bojangles down the road is closed today um balsam cafe is closed hardy's is closed um there was a water line break and look at all the snow and and alex um comes up with this ingenious plan he, he goes and gets a um track hoe rents a track hoe basically from a dude come up and pull his cart out of the barn right well, yeah so you had to pull it all the way up the road <laughs> well we got him to scrape it first and we realized that wasn't going to work so we just hooked the chains to the bucket pulled it right up <laughs> we we're ready to go today i'm glad we did because like you said all the water's out we've had a good day all yeah power company people yeah if you look back here look at the power company people these people are in right from side, from in from oklahoma and um to help with power because the, the ice and the snow has took out power lines everywhere around here all, day? all up in these mountains um and so there's people from um outer banks here electric company duke power i don't know what power company this is but there, um, the Walmart parking lot up the road is packed with power trucks waiting on, um, they're waiting on, um, daggum, um, what is it, the, um, I guess permitting? Something, some delay in permits to do this emergency work? Um, but anyway, I apologize that this, um, it, it told you about this video before we went live. I was just setting it up and I didn't know it would announce it. Um, anyway um so here we are with alex live and um and he is he is some of y'all had some questions about the type of stuff he serves and the food he serves i'm gonna walk around here in a minute and show you the menu um we've been here before with alex just not in the cold um but this is the cool part he, he comes and he looks up because everything's closed today so he has been busy um with people and he's even here later than normal um than he normally does because he's busy he's so out of some food already doesn't have onions and um, um, no grilled onions no grilled peppers now no um, regular onions no grilled peppers now no um, regular dogs just his um, all beef dogs because he carries both a lot of people like the regular dogs his wife's over here in the car she's been trading off with him they brought their child because um, she can't go to school today and so you can see his menu right there and and it's um it's been it's yeah. been cold and busy um you should have seen it when the power guys figured out he was setting up um they come running over lined up and then a minute ago all the duke power guys lined up and then a minute ago all the duke power guys were out, over here in a line um it's crazy and he's thinking he's gonna stay later today just because there is nowhere to eat close by um everything's closed um when he gets done here, I'll talk to him about the um, types of dogs where he gets them, and um, he can share that with you. But lots and lots of snow. I think we got here in town, I think they got 15, 14 inches, something like that. I know where I am on the mountain, we got a little over 15. Hey, Ken, glad you're here, brother. That's everything. Yep. And then there's the ketchup mustard sauce. And He's got these new sausages today, yeah. these big Italian sausages. Um, yeah, here's some of the, uh, like, that's the Italian, and that's from Fontanini's. Um, uh, Steven in the group uh, uses those too. And then we got a Cajun, a Cajun. Um, which is an andouille, so it's a little smoother when you bite into it. Howdy, all you guys are here. And then we got the the beef franks. We sold out of the regular ones, like you were saying. Yeah, sold out of those early because it it um there's nothing open, so he's kind of like the he's like the main course show here today. Yeah, and I've got my wife here. If we need, she can run and grab some more stuff. Um, when we started, we went with the uh, Members Mark Dogs um, from Sam's Club, the cases of 80. And we were doing regular and beef. Here's this. Um, oh, there you go, thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. 
Um, and I've learned that as long as you have a good beef product or a good regular product, it doesn't always have to be the exact same one. Um, and I've even had some compliments lately. I started doing some of the ballpark. Uh, you got to get the bun link. You don't get the bun link, they're going to shrink up like that. You're going to be selling little weenies. Yeah, they look like miniature weenies. Yeah, yeah, that, that won't work. <laughs> Cold weenies. Yeah, but uh, as long as it's got that good beef flavor, um, you know, like everybody says, you can get a taste test with your neighbors, with your friends, see what they like. Once you start throwing all the toppings on, like I live out here in Western North Carolina, so the Carolina dogs, mustard, onions, chili slaw, is what most people like here. Um, once you layer that much flavor, especially some yellow mustard and some chili, you lose a little bit of what the dog actually tastes like. And for a lot of these people out here, it's a value for them. It's something fast. It's something, you know, they can get in them, get back down the road to what they need to do. And they're not spending a million dollars. What's happening? How are you? He's had people pulling up right on either side of the awesome. cart today, um, even yeah. where I'm standing. And I'll show you, I'm all, well, I don't know if I can turn this camera around. Let's see, I'll show you how warm bundled up I am. I got my daggone warm stuff on because it is cold, cold, cold today and a little windy. Let me turn this back around. But these are the, um, those are the, the Andouille, the Cajuns, um, the sausage dogs, and then we've got the, um, these are the Italians. I keep everything frozen. Where, did, where can they find these if they want to carry it? I those know are you Fontanini. changed those. Fontanini. Um, and he just changed, And he just changed over, if you didn't catch it, he just changed over on his hot dogs. But they, uh, they'll ship them to you, uh, 40 something dollars a case. Um, a little over a dollar a piece. So it's almost, it's the same price I was paying for the, the Polish and the other beef. Um, the kielbasa brand from Sam's Club, same price. So the value and the size on these is one of the things. It's better, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> to <Yeah>. me. <laughs> so it's been I've had the out other well. one. Yeah. But we still use these same buns, the restaurant style. If you can't find those. Top cut. Yeah. See y'all, that's the New England style cut buns. They got potato rolls, they do the same way too. Um, and you can, Cobblestone does a brand. You could use that if you wanted. And for my brats, um, Ballpark makes a good brat bun. You can see the difference here between these two. And these open up side, you can hold more stuff. And somebody the other day bought a condiment rack that didn't have a bottom in it. If you're gonna buy a condiment rack that doesn't have a bottom, you're gonna have to, you're gonna, you're gonna waste, you're gonna yeah. waste money because you can't keep see. the ice packs and the ice in there. And some people will do this wrong and they'll put ice in the bottom of them. He's using ice packs. You see that? It's smarter. You don't have the waste of the ice and you don't have to drain out water constantly. And with the weather being what it is, it's a lot easier to run that. It's a really hot summer day. I use an ice bath just to make sure. I'm also only out here less than four hours. So everything gets tossed out at the end of the day. That's the Andouille Spicy, right? Yeah. Gerald says potato buns stay fresher longer. Uh, Mike says they use potato buns, they're good. And then the comments disappear on me. I don't know why they come and go on this thing while I'm doing it. I like the potato rolls too, but I mean, I usually go, um, I usually have everything sold that day and I can grab some new stuff. And with the weather this time of year, I mean, I've got back stock in the house. But I like to get it like fresh, like that day. You know, I know there's no issues with it. I can buy all my stuff ready that day. I've got a commissary. The more stuff I buy ahead of time, the more I have to pay them to store it there. So if I go out and get my little jars, you know, I can save money. It, yeah. And it's just all ready to go. Would you want on these again? Your meal's gonna be fun. <laughs> hey, he does good yeah, he does. We give him we give him pretty much better summer. I have to see his over here. 
Well, once we got out here too, we realized that uh, there's a water main that broke. Yep. So Bojangles is Bo shut down. Is yeah. I bet Taco Bell's open. You know, they don't need water for anything anyways. <laughs> <laughs> And somebody was asking about wrapping. I just take it in half, fold the top. I like to only fold the top. That way the toppings don't get mushed. Don't get mushed. Janessa, my wife will wrap them up like a sandwich and keep them real close. But then you get a mess all over the place. But basically, you know, they're nice. ready to roll. Nice. Regular barbecue. Didn't even meant to get out of his car. We had the FedEx driver pull up in the FedEx van right beside him a little bit ago. Pulled right up to where he's standing. <laughs> Ordered. If you got any questions, I'll be happy to ask him. Um, we've. Um, if you want to see more videos of Alex, um, if you want to see the, um, if you go over to the Facebook page, you'll see the um, the video I posted up this morning of him dragging his cart. He sent it to me, um, dragging his cart with a with a track hoe um, down the mountain, so he could hook it to his van. I think it's first time a big dog's been hooked to a track hoe. Um, when he gets back here, Ben, what was the brand he's slinging? Um, I'll ask him again. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, maybe I'll go back in and write it in the notes. And here's a, uh, like for my card, we got the tongue chewing tasty. I got um, my name, I got the phone number, I got the website. I've also got where they can follow me on Facebook. And then the 10th hot dog, they get free. You can use a fancy stamp. I mean, if somebody's hard up that they're gonna cheat the system, they're gonna cheat the system, you know, I'll give them a free hot dog. But <laughs> I give these to all the customers. And um, we'll ask him again. Thank you. All right, you already been asked the brands again. So we got more people. The brands watching. for hot dogs? The brands you're using again and why you changed and, and why matters or doesn't matter. Okay, so the good thing about the members, Mark, the ones that come from Sam's, they come in the big frozen packs of 40. The bad part about this, they're all frozen. You can use a meat thermometer or just a temperature thermometer, poke in the middle, break those down into 20 packs. They're good to go. They stay, they stay, um, fresh and frozen for quite a while for me i have to drive 30 45 minutes to Asheville to get those um i used to do more stuff in Asheville, so it was worth it to get those while i was there um i've been getting them if you can see the sign down the road there's walmart right there um it's right there yeah, it. so it's right where i'm at and i'm using a beef um uh ballpark bun length the color, once you cook up the ballpark, the color is more red than the member's mark one. Sometimes those member mark one, they'll turn kind of whitish. They'll lose some, even if you're not using chlorinated water, you'll still have that happen. And I've noticed they haven't been very consistent. You'll cook those up and those started shrinking, like real small. Like- Because the filler, the yeah, type of filler they're just using. Just a small rolling boil to start and then I cut them off and I don't boil them you know, all day, maybe five, 10 minutes. So I moved over to the other ones because I can get them right here. Um, the color's looking better and it's still an all beef product. So for me, on my sign, I have all beef hot dog or uh, beef Frank, cause Frankenstein's, and then I have a regular hot dog. So no matter what brand it is, it's still a regular hot dog and it's still a beef hot dog. Right. I've actually had people tell me that they like these ballpark better now. So I'm sticking with them. Um, the sausages, I like to rotate sausages all the time. That way it keeps fresh for people. They'll come up and be like, hey, what sauces do you have today? We've done the bologna sandwiches. Um, so that stuff's not as important to always have the same one because it's still going to be a sausage and it's still going to be a good product. Um, with the condiments, all my condiments are really staying the same and I'm still running my chili. I mean, if you look at it, the color of the chili's good. Um, I keep it in the bag and what I do is I use that hot dog chili sauce and I mix it with a can of the chili man um with no beans and the color's great it doesn't have that weird texture that a lot of the other ones have and i've kept that stuff the same but for the meat products i mean whatever works and as long as it is what it is as long as it's a beef 
product or a right. non-beef. Walmart's even carry one they're calling Great Value, which is the same thing as the Sam's Club brand. So on that one, it's it's actually the same product, just in a smaller package. But there's a four dollar difference for me, but it cost me six bucks to drive over there and drive back. So it's kind of a win-win. Um, to answer your question about ice packs and the cold, um, because the health department still, if they came by and inspected, you'd still want it in there, um, even if it's cold enough outside, because you got a heat source below it, and they want to make sure it stays at temperature, so when they check it, that it's at the right temperature. So you want to always have that, and and not go, well, we didn't we didn't think it'd get too warm because the, the it's cold outside, and then they'll go, well, that's your fault, and then give you some kind of demerit on your inspection so that's that why you do it glove hand money hand so he paid i can just stick it in there don't have to take the glove off Seventy five degrees where somebody's slinging right now and and, and they say We're not gonna see that for a while. <laughs> yeah. No seventy five here till probably April or May. Yeah. The brand again of Anduli? A Fontanini. Fontanini for both of those. Well, um, it's a northern company. Yeah, he gets them shipped in. Fontanini. Um, I don't know how you spell that, but it starts with an F, I bet. O-N-T-A-I-N-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-